Well, here we go. This is the big one. At some point in the recording of this series, Crystal Dynamics revealed that they had more stuff in the works for Rise of the Tomb Raider, and they dropped this bad boy into the game, Croft Manor. If you guys don't know what Croft Manor means to Tomb Raider, well, take a knee. Croft Manor is a feature usually of most main series Tomb Raider games across all of the generations. Generation 1, 2, and now finally, Generation 3 also. It first appeared as something of a tutorial level in Tomb Raider 1 and then something less of a tutorial level in 2 and 3 um, and in most games it has been there so I'm sure there have been the exceptions here and there I believe for example Underworld didn't have a Croft Manor of the original generation I'm pretty sure Chronicles nor The Last Revelation included it we also have the weirdness that was the Angel of Darkness I'm not actually sure whether it was there but Croft Manor's cool all right Croft Manor was where I used to as a kid especially in Tomb Raider spend a lot of my time and so I was kind of sad that Tomb Raider 2013 never had any form of it. Well, guess what they just put into Rise of the Tomb Raider. This is a DLC. I know nothing about this. I very rarely do things blind, but I figured it would be somehow fun and appropriate to do it for Croft Manor at the very least. So let's hit it up. Not only when you buy Croft Manor do you get Croft Manor itself, but you also get an expedition that's set there too. Uh, we're going to be looking at both of those, but starting first of all with Croft Manor itself. This should be cool. I've got no idea what they have in store with us. Uh, they got a new story, Blood Ties, and then the expedition, Lara's Nightmare, which you can check it from here as well. First, we're gonna do Blood Ties. Let's check it out. And I'm hoping this doesn't have spoilers, to uh, story spoilers. Otherwise, you, all got, you guys will be seeing this at the very end of my series instead of like before I show you the final episode. Hopefully, no spoilers though. Some documents and relics can be found throughout the manor. Oh, they're essential for completing the story. Notice to Lara Croft, a current tenant of premises. This is to serve as your final notice for the purposes of terminating your ownership of Croft Manor. You are required to immediately vacate and surrender possession of said manor to Atlas de Mornay, executor of estates. Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter, but so be it. As you know, your parents appointed me executor of the estate in the event. What? Since your mother disappeared, her death was never technically declared. And given the circumstances surrounding your father's death, it's no surprise that he never drafted a formal last will and testament to account for this circumstance. Unfortunately, you have no legal claims to the estate. I'm willing to negotiate a modest monthly stipend from your trust, but only if you leave the manor by week's end. Don't fight me on this, Lara. Your mother wouldn't want that. Sincerely, Atlas. There has to be a will or some kind of evidence of what happened to Mum in the manor somewhere. Dad's safe. Oh, what is this? This is unbelievable. Okay, cool. What is with the weird, like, dust hanging in the air? The music sounds very, 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 like, exuberant right now. Okay, so we want to get into the safe, do we? Hmm. Needs a combination. Okay. In Dad's papers somewhere, maybe in the library. Okay, so we can go to the library. Oh my God, is this so? Croft Manor usually is kind of very um, non-linear exploration, so that's what I'm expecting here. And I'm I'm looking to see how much inspiration they drew from previous Croft Manors as well, including even the movie Croft Manor we saw. By the way, guys, there's going to be a Tomb Raider movie as well. A little bit of information about that came out the other day. All right, so what do we got here? Let's interact. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Crown. <laughs> I was so proud of that thing. Oh, look at this. We could examine uh, hidden information. <laughs> That's my handwriting. My penmanship was pretty good. Why did she write the treasure of the ancients on the back? That's cool, though. Oh, Lara's childhood. We got a whole new section of documents, guys. This is brilliant. Here we got something. What does that say? Disgraced. Renowned historian's will claims debunked. Ooh, okay. Uh, 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 an audio receiver? Well, this is a hell of a thing. I met someone tonight quite unexpectedly, but it shouldn't have been, it seems. I've been so buried in my work, so distracted by my latest revelations, I never bothered to notice my surroundings. But there she was, sitting at my table in the library. Her name is Amelia, and apparently she's been studying right next to me. Art history, of all things. I shared some of my research against my better judgment, but I wanted to see how she would respond. And she did not disappoint. I felt as if I was suddenly engaged in a mental game of chess, moving and counter-moving in argument. At one point, that poor old librarian had to shush us as if we were children. 
I feel so foolish for not having noticed her earlier. She's a brilliant woman who's challenged my ideas for the first time in memory. In truth, I don't know if she's feeling as exhilarated as I am right now, but I dare say our conversation was mutually stimulating. For the first time in a long time, I find myself thinking about something else besides my research. I hope she returns for another round tomorrow. Oh, uh, this is interesting. So we get to see a little bit of his backstory with uh, Lara's mother. I always knew that my parents met at Oxford, but never the circumstances. Just like dad to argue mythology as a way to flirt. Yeah, and, uh, what, and her mum to respond to that? My Jesus. Made a good team, challenging each other from the start. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm, I can already tell. I'm going to really enjoy this. Dad would have liked me to go to Oxford, but I insisted on UCL. <sighs> okay, sure you did. <laughs> yep, looks real. Roth once offered to forge me a fake diploma to show Dad. Oh wow, what does it say on it? I want to see. It's so this. this, this okay, classical archaeology. Uh, Richard James James Croft satisfied the examiners in final honor school of classical archaeology in eighty eight. That's weird. Uh, you think of him as so much older than graduating in nineteen eighty eight. Jesus. Okay, all right, that's fine. <clears throat> Very cool. We got a cupboard. Oh, and nothing in it. Okay, all right. I see what they're doing there. Also, very typical rainy, horrible, stormy mess. I suppose it means they don't have to render anything particularly beautiful to look at out there either, which is nice for them. Um, ooh, what is this bus? This is probably my grandfather, Benjamin. Oh, my God. Ancestor's legacy. Can you imagine being from, like... Like, I know nothing about my ancestry. Nothing. I know, like, up to my grandparents, and that's it. Like, I know a tiny little, little, little bit about my great-grandparents. But beyond that... Dad and Anna. I feel like it's just something we don't care about much here. Wearing dresses. But the colour was nice. Yeah, she's obviously the kind of girl that wouldn't like wearing dresses. This is cool, though. This is pretty interesting. Richard looks a little bit different than he appears in some of the other media. Looks like he's a little bit more weightly during those days. I wonder if the idea is he ended up losing a lot after he lost his wife. Like, in sadness. I finally introduced Richard to the family. It went precisely how I imagined. I see but polite grace from mother, indifference and disinterest from father, and thinly veiled contempt from Atlas. Of course they don't approve. To them, Lord Croft is the man who took away their beloved daughter and ruined her long-standing engagement. Though I was never going to marry that repugnant Earl of Farringdon anyway. One might think they would be happy that I was being courted by a genuine Lord of the Realm. It just happens to be Richard Croft. In their eyes, the man who single-handedly ruined a once great family. But there's nothing to be done now. Watching how Richard dealt with their subtle insults and disrespect. Such grace and calm. I know he did it for me. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with this man. It will break my mother's heart, but I cannot live the life she imagined for me. My time with Richard has only made this clearer. Wow, okay, so wait, well, but what did he do here? The man who single-handedly ruined a once great family? Well, what is this? We haven't really heard much suggestion of that before, have we? Lara's comments here are mum's own words. I can almost imagine her speaking. I wish I could remember her voice. What's really kind of funny about that is obviously we get to listen to her voice. She sounds cool. And the repugnant Earl of Farringdon. Ah, oh, repugnant is such a wonderful word. Okay, cool. It must have been hard for mum to go against her family's wishes. I'm glad she did. It's, uh, it's interesting having the name Amelia there as well, considering what Amelia was in the second generation. All right, let's go here. Syria? A map of the forgotten cities of northern Syria. He was closer than he knew to finding the prophet's tomb. Which, of course, we only found out in this game. Uh, is this what Lara's circled in red, or is this what Richard had circled? Oh, I love how we can actually, unlike a lot of things in the main game, we can actually properly examine a lot of this stuff and actually read the map. This is cool. Very nice. And just like earlier, we could actually read the certificate, the diploma. Let's go this way. Nothing. Dad's book about immortality myths might be useful in my research. Oh, this looks so authentic. This is really cool. The Truth Behind Myth by L Lord Richard Croft, second edition. Can we read the, the blurb? We can. i got to lean right in for this. Richard Cl Croft explores myth in search of lost truths with Christianity. 
The word myth rests on a historical basis. By the time of Christ, the Greco-Roman uh, world had started to use the term myth, Greek mythos, to mean fable, fiction, lie. As a result, the early Christian theologians used myth in this sense. This, the derogatory meaning of the word myth, is the traditional Christian meaning, and the expression Christian mythology, is, as used in academic discourse, may offend Christians for this reason. That's a crap blurb, let me just say. Anyway, it says, A truly engaging discussion lays the foundation for understanding human history. Quoted by Do Dr. Uh, Thomas Bradier, Professor Emeritus of Archaeology, Cambridge University, and an ambitious, highly important book from Cameron P. Senwich. British Museum Director of Natural History. Oh, this is cool! Oh, man, we might be seeing, like, you guys, you remember in the previous game we had, like, the Trinity hint? We might be seeing, like, something like that right here in Croft Manor at some point. What they choose to pick up as they expand the franchise further. Oh, dear. Okay, that's cool. All right, moving on. we got another another little cupboard over here. One of the cupboards friggin' things falling off. Another bust? One of Dad's Yoruba masks. A gift from a friend he met on an expedition in Nigeria. Ooh, what was he doing expeditioning in Nigeria? Oh, there's going to be such a good range. This is going to feel like that bit in Uncharted 4 where you go to a specific house, which, by the way, is one of the coolest parts of the game. Oh, God, the thunder. All right, let's keep going. To the library. Okay, the library is where she thinks the combination will be. Should we do it in order or should we go explore? Dad's artifacts from the Nile Valley. I always love looking at these. Damn. Dad became interested in immortality myths after his expeditions to Egypt. This is beautiful. This is so cool. And to be able to take stuff back with him. Oh, stealing, essentially. Oh, man, I want to explore. Let's go to the library first. Let's go to the library, I guess. Because there's no way it's just going to end, right? They're not going to structure it like that. We will go down that hallway as a part of the main. Oh, there you go. Locked. Hmm. There's got to be another way through. All right, we've got to find another way. So yeah, the old Crofts Manors were full, full with tricks and traps and secret fire, you know, books you could put in libraries that would turn off fires and fireplaces that would reveal secret passages behind them that would take you into attics with keys that would get you into aquariums. And blah, blah. It was badass, guys. It was so cool. Can I interact with the laptop? There's a very nice laptop right there. Lara, I've reviewed the report from your therapist. I have to say I was surprised to see a clean bill of health. I somehow doubt you've so easily abandoned your irrational claims. Indeed, where have you been the past few weeks? My secretary discovered that you booked a flight to Turkey on the 20th. You can't have been simply sightseeing, as your customs claim suggest. I know you're up to something, and I'll be damned if I let you use the Croft assets to indulge the same obsession that led to my sister's death. It's not too late to relinquish your claims on the manor voluntarily. If you refuse, I will find a way to cut you off. Oh. Atlas. Okay, so I already suspected this. Atlas is the brother of our mum. So this is our uncle, right? Atlas is our uncle. And he's a douchebag and he's got he's trying to get the place. This is interesting. And so this is set off to the main story. If there are any spoilers that come up, I'm going to have to reshuffle when I show this to you guys. Here we go. I don't know how to feel about keeping this old manor, but one thing is clear to me. I need Uncle Atlas. There you go. Uncle Atlas out of my life for good. Atlas de Mornay. Atlas, you douchebag. All right. We got the villain for the next game, guys. It's clear. All right, let's go this way. And perhaps we'll find just the proof we need in the attic, right? I wonder how well they've hidden stuff on this. This place, this thing's great. Well, hello there, Sir Lancelot. Don't worry, it won't be boring your sword this time. This time? What is that? Is that as a little girl she would play with it? Cool. <gasps> playing in here as a kid. Just oh! The first things to fix. Me too! I used to love playing in here as a kid as well! Oh, this is cool. This looks so good. Oh, it's so dilapidated as well. Oh, this is fantastic. Like, they had to do the Grand Hall. This is like the most iconic area. Oh, wow. Look at the freaking. Oh, gosh. Lara, you're living here? This place is a dump. Jesus Christ. I'm surprised she's got the electricity still going with this. I guess in the main chamber she at least doesn't. Oh my god. Okay. A phoenix figurine. I bet this appealed to Dad's idea of immortality. Of rising from the ashes and being born anew. Hmm. Well, hey, you never know. 
Once again, I find my I, I find the game kind of sucks with tapping Q constantly. It, oh, I hate grayscaling everything. I hate the sound effect. This belongs to Anna. Most of her belongings are in the guest house. What was she doing in here? Well, maybe we can find out. <laughs> Someone has a sense of humor. Stop, stop smoking, love Richard. Jesus, okay. But we know she was being a bit of a freak in those later years. We know that for a fact. All right, let's go this way. <sighs> we require the master key. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if that's a throwback. So in the Tomb Raider 3 mana, I think the last key you got was the master key, which let you go to the quad bike races or whatever. I wonder if that's a throwback to that. That would be fantastic. You know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to see. We've been through this. Was Mum's room in here? Just stay out of there, darling. All the memories. So protective of the West Wing. Okay, well, let's go in. Are we going to see that room, the iconic what? room? I need a key to open this. What? After all these years, after all this damage, we're really, we're not gonna just bust through it, no? All right, that's fine. Can I examine this in any way? This great big rug here, Croft. The great house of Croft, having fallen. What I see how it is. Sitting there on the floor, Mistress Lara. Looking at the compass, thinking. What about, if I may inquire? Just thinking about discovering faraway places, about finding adventure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, my lady. You've the soul of an explorer, but don't grow up too fast. Ah, oh, it's weird though, because so far this Lara Croft that we know here, like her adventures have been grim. They've not been very fun adventures. They've not been great. Um, I hope the next game like resolves that a little bit. The offer came in the post last week and I still haven't told Richard. He flew ahead to Tibet where I will meet him shortly. I never told him I was submitting my work. Never thought there was a chance of being accepted. Oh, but a gallery tour is not something I can pass up. The show will take me away from England for over a year. I'll begin in New York and travel across the United States and... Oh, God! I'm giddy even writing these words. When Richard and I were married, I was prepared to relegate my painting to a hobby. But it was Richard who objected, who gave me my atelier and studio. Without that support, I might still be painting boring landscapes. Now I can't shake the foolish sensation that leaving would be a betrayal. He will laugh at that and insist I accept, even though I know it will break his heart to be apart. He never once asked me to sacrifice any part of my life for his. I have, of course, in a thousand small ways over the years, but he would never ask. The discussion can wait, and I will join him in Tibet. I won't cast a shadow over his find. I will be by his side in his triumph, as I know he will stand by my side in time. Man, I don't think I've ever listened to such a healthy, uh, such a great depiction of a healthy relationship. That That is cool. They, 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 these are who people should strive to be when they're in relationships. That kind of unspoken trust and support you have in one another, right? Like, that's what people should be looking for. Anyway, this is incredible. Mum was on the verge of fulfilling one of her dreams. Fate can be so cruel. Oh, right. And what, she was snatched away in this expedition in Tibet? Hmm... It seems like they're really pushing a lot of quite needed character development and background that the main game just never got into. This is cool. Got to remember to pack this for my next trip. I hope to see it. I hope to see it. It's crystal Dynamics. Oh, sweet. We've actually got it here. Okay, cool. The flashlight will turn on automatically. Oh, was there something dark I could have seen and she would have refused to step in there? Hey Jonah, sorry for not getting back to you sooner. I've decided to do some research at the manor. A lot has happened and I need some time to think about what I want to do next. This old place is filled with memories and secrets. Uncle Atlas has tried to keep me out of here for so long I don't even know if I want to keep it. But after everything that's happened, Maybe I can find out what it still means to me. If it's worth fighting him for. I'll let you know how things worked out when I'm back in London. 
I'm not gonna lie, I think I can hear here that they have, in post, slowed her voice down? Which is, like, an odd effect for them to have deliberately created. Uh, I hope Jonah doesn't worry about me too much, we haven't talked since I left for Syria, Jesus. Alright, well, so you can kind of infer something, reading between the lines there, which I'm just gonna gloss over. Um, let's go this way. So this will be the dark, I suppose, that we were talking about? Maybe? Or, I don't know why I need a flashlight. This isn't too dark. Sure. I really need to brush up on my ancestors one of these days. This guy's gonna be important, guys! I'm gonna tell you, this guy's gonna be important! Oh, okay, alright. I'm having a lot of fun. Alright, so that doesn't matter then. So we need a key for a room and a cabinet, I think I saw? Uh, then we've got a flashlight that lets us go to dark places. Lara. Since your return from your expedition to Yamatai, I've grown increasingly alarmed at your erratic behavior. I can only assume you suffered some kind of psychological trauma and are only acting out as a call for help. I want you to know that I hear you, loud and clear. Anna and I agree that it's time for you to be evaluated by a professional. I took the liberty of arranging an introduction to a highly qualified colleague of mine. You should be receiving the details in the post soon. I want to impress upon you the importance of this, Lara. As executor of the estate, it is my duty to see that it is left in capable hands. And if I may be blunt, you're acting like your father when he was at his worst. He nearly lost the manor himself in those days. I'd hate for you to repeat his mistakes. I encourage you to embrace the help I'm offering. Ah, uh, so I... Your uncle. So this, of course, is the um, second time he's referred to her... Uh... Uh, meetings with a therapist, uh, which we heard about a lot in the main game, um, and we we found out that Anna was actually or Anna was actually using those to just keep tabs on Lara. So Anna's ambition, you know, was a little bit more sinister. I wonder if this guy is literally just money hungry and doesn't understand what's genuinely going on, or whether he does understand what's going on and he's a bigger player than we think. So here we hear that this is my uncle's first attempt at trying to cut me off from the manor. It backfired and. Uh, uh, Lara wasn't as crazy as he believed. That's interesting. Okay, so first message from Atlas there. Just how in cahoots with Anna was he, for example? Another one of Dad's immortality artifacts. I think Roth bought this for him from a trader in Greece. Oh, this is brilliant. Dude, all these different characters. It's, I love how embroiled into all these, like, crazy things the, 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 the Croft family seems to be. And they haven't forgotten about Roth and stuff. This is good. This is what I wanted to see more of from the main game, I think. Nice. Um, okay. Can we go into this door? Is this going to please don't be a key again? Oh, it is a key again, really? We require the master key. So where the hell are the dark areas that we supposedly... I don't see anything else in the main chamber for us to mess about with, right? Okay. So, what if we go into this? This is where we came from, correct? So what if we go down this hallway here? Did we already open that? Taking a left doesn't seem to be an option. Taking a right. Is there any... This is this needs a key, right? Okay. We can't, like, climb and hang on this, no? Alright. So far, very little platforming. As far as I understand, there is a bit more than just wandering around and exploring. I might be wrong on that. Um... And, well, this would be the, the hallway that we already came from, wouldn't it? It's warning me about survival instincts here. But why would I... It's a bit creepy in here, honestly. It really is. The survival instincts doesn't mean anything. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to find somewhere dark. Uh, I was playing the music now that we've re-entered the main hall. Can we go out the front door? Is that a thing? Can we go out into the grounds? That was a component of Croft Manor a long time ago. The Gen 2 Croft Manor's kind of like had leaving the grounds incorporated into the grounds in a weird way. I don't know if I'm describing that well enough. God, it sounds freaky. One hell of a thunderstorm. The funny thing is most storms in the UK, like they don't, they last very unsatisfying lengths of time. This is the master key again. Huh. I guess I'll cut it, guys, because I don't know where I'm gonna, where I'm meant to go. I'll probably just be wandering around for a while, unless they want us to climb up the fireplace or something. Oh my god, we can light it. We need the lighter to light the fireplace. That's really interesting. 
Oh, here, here, here. There is something we missed. There is at least one thing we missed. It, it... This is the map I made for my first expedition with Dad. It shows a path to the library through the servants' passages. Oh, snap. Okay. All right. This actually does sort of help us. All right. Okay. So this is where we started. This is the library here, I think. Um, so it's saying like on this wall, there's a way through or something. What does the back say? Nothing. This is expedition map one of two. Does getting this Wait, allow us... Can get to the library through the old servant's corridor. Oh, that's the tip they gave us earlier that some things would be required. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted from Croft Manor. I mean, it's dark, right? Okay. I see. So we should have found this earlier. Amelia, the news has reached Mother. She knows that you broke off your engagement with the Earl of Farringdon. She is beside herself with worry. But for the moment, she's controlling the narrative. As far as anyone knows, you're just having innocent second thoughts. But the moment your affair with Lord Croft goes public, it will be too late. Our name will be as ruined as this man you've chosen to bed. Don't you see that you're being selfish, Amelia? Please, consider your family. You're a demone. Everything you do has a greater effect on us all. I'm coming down to London soon. Don't do anything rash until we have a chance to talk. Oh, this is all very upper-class British soap stuff. This is wonderful. Mum was engaged to someone else. There's so much I never knew about her. Why have you spelt that, Mom? Look, this is all so British. Do it. Come on. Ugh. Well, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. Didn't we already read about him, though? Couldn't she have deduced that from before? Wow, it was an affair, though. Tisk tisk tisk. Okay, this place is pretty damn creepy right now. Like, super damn creepy. <laughs> Oh God! Okay. <laughs> Maybe yeah, just let my uncle have this place. Why does he want it so bad, though, Lara? You got to ask yourself that question. So there's this door here, but then we can go deeper down. Ooh! Oh my gosh. They say a good test of a relationship is how well you travel together. Well, I'd say Amelia and I have passed that test with flying colours. Indeed, these last few months in Egypt have been nothing short of extraordinary. She and Roth get on like old uni chums. In fact, the two have spent more than a few nights drinking and playing cards into the wee hours. Despite her decidedly proper upbringing, Amelia's taken to roughing it more than I ever have. She fits in and connects with the local populace with such amazing empathy. Because of her, I've had a bit of an unexpected breakthrough in my research. She managed to convince an artifact dealer in Old Town to sell me a magnificent and quite unusual Tibetan scroll. From what I can tell, it seems to contain details surrounding an immortality ritual of some sort. Mm. I think it's time for me to take the next step with Amelia. In fact, I don't think I can wait any longer. I will ask for her hand tomorrow in the bright Egyptian sun amidst the dust and ruins. Man, the, the, depending on where they go with this story, what happens with this family is either incredibly tragic or incredibly amazing. I've heard so many stories about that expedition. To see it from Dad's perspective makes me realize that it was my mom who made it all so memorable. Damn, that's crazy. So we're getting a little bit more on, like, what happened with Tibet here? Ah, oh, and another shout out to Roth. Oh, I love it. Okay, cool. I'm not All right. surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. All right, let's drop through here, maybe? Is this just going to break us in? Oh, no, we want the key again. So it stands to reason we'll get the key in this area of the manor. Which stops us having to go all the way up those stairs again, but also means we get back into the regular manner through one of those doors And then we can use it to open the chest and go to the other door. So that's what my belief is here We're gonna oh look how good this looks here. I'm getting some serious amnesia vibes with the like the voice acting And just how creepy this all is right now the storm outside. Oh, there's a rat I suppose if I was scared of rats that would freak me out. Is this a prison? What is this? Amelia I know we have had our differences in recent years. I've tried my best to keep an open mind about your relationship with Richard, but I just can't let you go on this ill-conceived expedition without saying my piece. You say Richard's theories have merit. You say that he may have actually stumbled upon some mythic unknown truth, but I have seen nothing to support such claims. And while your word may have been enough in times past, I cannot let you squander away what remains of your name and reputation and that of our family, truth be told. 
on some damned foolish crusade. I intend to go to Richard's investors and let them know exactly how he's spending their money, but I want to give you a chance to put a stop to this yourself. Please, don't go to Tibet. If not for me, at least for Lara. Wow, do you know what's kind of crazy about this bit here with Atlas as well? It's like these two have got all these things going on their whole life and like, they almost look like negligent parents, almost, because like, the, Lara's just never on their mind, like, and you can maybe understand why that that's true, but you know, at least Atlas, but he's just using her as a bargaining chip though. Uh, Uncle Atlas has been causing problems for my family for too long now, I'm glad mum ignored his war warnings. Oh god, though, what is this? Why? Why is the game making that noise? Why? That's just so cheap. What is that? What was I supposed to be getting freaked out about there? Oh god, I can't stop if it's just as creepy as I remember. Yeah, you telling me, Lara. Jesus Christ. Oh god, what the hell? Oh, it was just lightning. Ah, uh, stop it, game. Come on. All right, let's push this. And that will let us deeper in, I suppose. My lord, I hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health. Before I bore you with estate affairs, I wanted to let you know that our little angel has been into some mischief. As always, I indulged her in our usual game of chess. Over the course of the game, she broached the subject of her mother. She's having trouble remembering her now, and wanted to enter her ladyship's atelier, which you sealed off, to play on her mother's piano. It enraged her when she wasn't allowed to go in, of course. For someone so young, she has such strong emotions. Later in the day, she set a trap for me in the walk-in freezer of all places. Oh! Happening, I found myself locked inside. Mrs. Sheffield discovered me an hour later, shivering and somewhat peeved. It took us an additional hour to find Lara in the grounds, I know all her hiding places, of course, but this time she really did not want to be found. Call it years of observation, but I can tell when she's out of sorts. My lord, if I may be so bold, she misses you fiercely. She is lonely for her father. Please consider a call as soon as you are able. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Okay, guys, for those who don't know why this is so cool, later in the day, she set a trap for me in the walk-in freezer of all places. Listen, listen. Croft Manor in Tomb Raider 2 and 3. As you wandered around, you'd have this doddering old butler following you with, like, a tray of tea and things, and he was creepy. He was, like, genuinely really creepy. He'd make these, like, scary freaking noises. However, as a part of those games, when you went into the kitchen, um, there was a giant walk-in freezer that you could open and close the door to. And what a lot of play players Players would do, it, and myself included, is we would walk into this big ass freezer, wait for the butler to follow us in, because he was just programmed to follow you wherever you went. Then you'd run out of the freezer and just lock it, and you could lock this character in there. It was not, nothing the devs ever intended for you to do, but it would lock him away. Um, and it, it was always like one of these fun, weird things. In, in, in fact, specifically, I have a memory of doing that. You guys might catch me talking about this uh, when I was doing Croft Manor in Tomb Raider Legend in a very old video on my channel. But I remember when I was a lot younger doing this and uh it wasn't designed to be accomplishable right like they'd never thought of it so the sound effect of him wandering around and groaning and going like Ugh, would play everywhere and it used to really freak me out as a kid playing tomb raider 2 that i'd locked him in the freezer and now he was like angry with me and somehow he'd break out he, i used to get really jumpy based on that sound effect and it was a really famous thing about the tomb raider franchise locking the butler in the freezer and look at what they just did they just called back to it they totally just called back to it in what is also a pretty serious and interesting message about the family life of the Crofts. This is so cool. And so I guess that message we heard earlier when they were sitting around on the floor also um, was from during that same time when they were away in Tibet. Oh, Paul Winston. And his name's Winston as well. I think his name was Winston in... Um in the previous games too. I remember doing that to him. I can't believe I was such a little brat. Thank goodness he had such patience with me. Oh, dudes. Come on, someone in the comments who played the old games, tell me that's not amazing. That is badass. Paul Winston. All right. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. You're damn right he was. All right, so let's go. And I'm suddenly not creeped out at all. I'm going to win this time, Winston. <laughs> Clever girl. But you should know by now, winning isn't everything. 
queen to king's bishop six. Check. Easy for you to say. You always win. Knight takes queen. What I mean to say is try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to king seven. I know, Winston. I just want... Oh no! I didn't even see that! You should also know by now, I'm not to be trifled with on this board, young lady. Mate. Oh, I am going to win. Someday. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm glad they didn't make her like some kind of freaking savant, which would have been the temptation, right? But totally annoying and unrealistic and lame. Chess with our old butler Winston on this board. Never could beat him. Oh man, this is so fun. Was white. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. Don't they say that white has a very, very, very slight margin for a greater chance for victory in chess? Isn't that correct? Is that a thing? Pretty sure that's a thing. Man, I used to play a little bit of chess too as I was growing up. And I, I enjoyed it, but I was never good enough to beat my parents at it. Ever. Alright, so we gotta pry that open with the crowbar. Of course we do. Alright, that makes sense. Some rusty old ass lockers there though, Jesus. Oh man, a place like this. I bet there's like some home improvements fanatic playing or watching this game like, Oh man, I would love to have a place like this just to build it up. I'm at a crossroads now. Good lord, that's such a cliche. But there's truth in it. Two roads before me. Both present joy and compromise. A life with Richard. Adventure, intellectual pursuit, perhaps a new family. But also a man obsessed with something I cannot understand. Or a life of obligation. Upholding the de Mornay name, embracing our traditions, not losing the family that raised me. Oh, this really is a rubbish choice. I don't want to lose them, but I love the life I've started to build with Richard. He comes with his own difficulties, but I can accept them. Will it be enough? For the time when she was with us, I hope it was enough. I hope it was worth it. Man, do you know what's really sad? She can't understand his obsession. Like, I think everyone watching this right now, we all want to believe in Richard's obsession, his thing with all immortality. We want to understand what was happening with him. We want him to be, um, you know, uh, put on a pedestal and proved right after all this time. And yet the question is, is that ever going to come true, right? Like, but not even, not even she did. Not even Amelia really understood it. Interesting. All right. Oh, the rats. I, I mean, I'm not scared of rats at all. I just find them cute. Wow, they've even looked like got programmed a little hole for them to run into. That is sweet. That's so cool. Good job, Crystal Dynamics. This is nice. Okay, uh, what else is this? Another, another document here? Sorry, I, I'm going to tone down the geeking out a little bit in a second here, guys. Christ. Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birthday expedition surprise. It's been a bit of an all-hands-on-deck effort organizing the affair and keeping it secret. She's obsessed with Egypt, memorizing hieroglyphs and ancient Egyptian districts, so she'll be delighted with what Lord Croft has come up with. This will be good for her. She's been acting up of late, but I know she's just craving more of her father's attention. He's been so buried in his research. It'll be a nice moment for the two of them to reconnect. And I do believe he needs it as much as she does. Oh, I take back my negligent parent comment. Oh, this is really sweet. Do you know what I like about this as well? The obsess obsession with Egypt. It's not really true, and it's never really been true of this franchise, but when people think of Tomb Raider, and particularly when it came out in the late 90s, where there was a bit of, like, re revitalized obsession with ancient Egypt in the Western world, people think Tomb Raider, people think Egypt, right? And aside from, like, Tomb Raider 4, which focuses entirely on it, and a, and a section of Tomb Raider 1, Egypt has never really been the main focus of this franchise. It just hasn't, but I like again here that they've actually set up that she likes the place and oh wouldn't it be cool guys to see like the next game be like heavily Egyptian focused wouldn't that be badass it was really one of the best birthdays I ever had oh that's lovely wait that was from Winston no I thought that was from Richard wasn't it that was from Richard why, why was the subheading Winston there though I'm not sure all right what do we got here I could just interact with something oh we can pull this I guess What are we trying to do in here? This is the other exit, correct? Oh, we've got a classic block puzzle going on. This is amazing. Ah, uh, well, sort of. Not entirely. All right, let's move around here. And then we're good. Oh, man. I hope we haven't missed any documents or anything. I really hope we haven't. 
Dad loved a good bottle of wine. Hmm, I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. Wow, this is one fancy ass looking bottle. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, let's follow the pipes. Oh, this place looks miserable. What's all this crap on the floor? What is it? Why is this Dad, random trash? It? The basement of despair. Indeed, Laura. Muster your courage, for this is the only path to the Library of Infinite Knowledge. Look there. See the string? An ancient Egyptian tripwire. The keepers of knowledge want none to disturb their treasures. We must tread carefully. Let me lead. I know how to spot all the traps. I'm sure you do, my darling. Lead on. 